tell you the story now about upper crust. We're all part of the upper crust compared to what used to happen and where the phrase came from. But one of the things that used to happen is when the king was in and the king was, they were cooking for the king, the king always wanted the best. So you could, you've seen the tables where there's venison all over the place and fruits and vegetables and all sorts of different types of meat. So the king had to have the very best. But the king also liked some bread. Everybody's likes some bread. So one of the things they used to do is they would bake up these nice big loaves of bread. And many times they were in a pie shape. And after they baked it, it got very pretty and it was brown and crusty on top. And they might have sprinkled a little sugar. Sugar was a very expensive spice. But they might sprinkle some of that on the top of the pie crust. And then what would happen, they get ready to serve the king and they would cut it. And the only thing that would serve the king was the upper crust. So the king became associated if you're part of the upper crust. But what did they do with what was below the upper crust? This would be left for the peasants to use, the people that were actually working in the kitchen. So they would scoop it out. They might take the leftovers that were left over from the feast, they would put it together, put it inside of the scooped out crust, and they ended up with what we know now as humble pie. There is a place where you can go Learn something new and always stop to say hello Walk through the trees, enjoy the scene, watch us grow